There's about 4,000 species of beetle in Britain and most of them are quite, to be honest, quite difficult to identify. But one that you can absolutely, easy one to identify and easy to find as well is the black-tipped soldier beetle. Just look on flowers during the summer, particularly umbellifers like this hogweed, and you will see this beetle. Um, there's just one here, uh, they just started to hatch now mid-June, so through July there'll be thousands of them will hatch, and you get certain days when the flowers will be covered with them. Um, usually you find them mating, uh, one of their common names is the hogweed bonking beetle. Quite amusing things. So uh, fabulous little thing, you see it has this red, beautiful sort of red-orange body and you can see the thorax there with its uh, red-orange and then the wing case is the elytra or wing case with a black tip at the end. There are quite a few of these soldier beetles in Britain and some of the other ones are all orange and orange and black and quite tricky to identify but this one's the only one which is orange with the black tip so uh, as it says on the tin the black tip soldier beetle. Just seen an absolutely huge crane fly now you're familiar with the daddy long legs that will come into your window sometimes to the light but this thing is an absolute monster it's the giant crane fly and it's quite common on Dartmoor uh, in particularly in damp meadows uh, but you don't often see them they they are quite active flyers and as you walk through the grass they'll suddenly fly off at vast speed but occasionally if you do follow them they'll tend to land and if you make a note of the spot and just go walk out carefully and have a look in there you see this amazing crane fly and it has these beautiful black marked wings and huge great body and it's a real sizable thing you know it's quite a, you know about several centimeters across the wings uh, the larva is a leather jacket like all crane flies and it lives in damp mud uh, so you don't tend to see that, but you do see the adults flying, mainly in June and July. And just looking in the grass here, there's a great big pile of soil which has been wrapped around all the grass stems. And this is an ant nest. These are black ants, a common garden black ant that you'll find in, find in your garden. You find them everywhere. Um, but in the meadow here, they've produced a huge great nest. And a lot of it is above ground, I presume, because it's quite a damp meadow here. Uh, that they've actually come up so they're in the dry so they've actually made a nice warm nest which is a bit drier than the soil here and I've just disturbed it a little bit and all the ants are coming crawling out as they do to defend their nest so I'll uh, leave that one in peace for the moment and remove all the ants off me and another one and another few more and some more sort of never-ending numbers of ants and a couple more and I think they're all back so they're the black ants, the black garden ant. We well, can tell it's wet in this meadow. There's a lot of rushes growing here. They're quite a dominant part of the vegetation and lots of marsh orchids as well. Now we've had a look at quite a lot of the insects in the meadow and there's some fabulous insects to see. One of the more, I suppose, unwelcome ones is the, uh, oops, one on me now, uh, a horsefly. Um, but before you squash the horsefly, have a closer look at them. They really are quite amazing insects. They have rainbow patterned eye, eyes, really quite stunning. And as they're about to put that big black sharp mouth part into your skin, uh, just take a closer look at those rainbow patterns on the eyes. They're really quite beautiful. Um, and then you can spot it if you like, but uh, we well, can just flick it away and uh, let it fly away into the, into the meadow. It's part of the life of the meadow after all.